we will go over the latest update from the Icelandic Met Office, which was published today at 25 minutes past 3 o'clock in the afternoon, where it says uh, the eruption at Sunukagir crater continues. The fissure is still erupting in three defined areas, and the most active crater is located around its middle. Activity has remained fairly steady overnight and so far throughout the day. The eruption is stable and no earthquakes have been recorded in the area. The land subsidence is measured at nearby GPS stations. A small magma flows to the surface and is able to accumulate in a magma seal. Lava still flows to the west and flows along the defenses at Svartsengi and Blue Lagoon and thickens there. Lava also flows, flows to the north and to the east from the northernmost and southernmost craters. Lava flows to the west are putting pressure on defense walls and the situation is sensitive in terms of the possible impact on infrastructure in and around Svartsengi due to the lava flows. Uh, land continues to sink in Svartsengi, which is consistent with considerable flow still in the eruption. About 10 million cubic meters of magma flowed from the magma seal in the first hours, which is about half of the volume that had been accumulated in the magma chamber since the last eruption. It means most of the magma that accumulated came out in the course of the first hours, half of that. The development of the subsidence in Svartsengi is comparable to what was seen at the beginning of the last two eruptions. Land subsidence can be expected while the flow of the eruption remains higher. Uh, this map from yesterday shows the extent of the lava flows and where they went. Those three lines here to the right of Storaskog, Fatl and Mach, three eruptive fissures which are active right now and the middle fissure emits the lava which is going to the west towards Blue Lagoon. This eruption generated the furthest extent of the lava to the west as you see, lava went very far by a thin flow uh, reaching the walls around Blue Lagoon. The walls really whack it out, I mean the dikes and save it Blue Lagoon. If not the dikes, Blue Lagoon would be destroyed and so would be also the geothermal power plant which would have devastating consequences as you know but uh, lava is putting a pressure on the dike north of blue lagoon and also to the west because it's still coming in that direction so hopefully this dike will hold uh, the other news that they are going to reopen the blue lagoon on 29th of um, November, it was in the news today, but the access road to Blue Lagoon will be from Grindavik. Um, the danger level of Grindavik had been reduced, uh, but the roads around remain closed, and now they install a checkpoint, so now you, those who walk it earlier to the lava, they can do so, and it was illegal, by the way. So now they made sure nobody accesses this eruption. So it's not a touristic eruption as before, as previous one. To some extent it was le uh, more accessible, but this one remains closed to public completely. You can of course see it from the area of the airport highway and Blue Lagoon Junction, but not otherwise. You Nobody can come here unless you're a journalist or have a press card or a scientist or something like that. But as I told on 29th of November, they are going to reopen Blue Lagoon and um, anybody who is visiting Blue Lagoon will see the lava most likely, um, at least from a drone or, or some equipment. Uh, I think the volcano will be visible erup erupting uh, from Blue Lagoon itself because last time it was visible. Uh, <clears throat> So Blue Lagoon is opening up, it's another news. And by that time in nine days, within nine days activities should subside significantly, if not stop altogether. Is This volcano is unlikely to last more than two weeks.
map shows you the exact location of the fissure, three kilometers long fissure when uh, the eruption started, where it's situated, and it's still activity is still along the same line. So we can term this as Storas Kokfet eruption because it's right next to Storas Kokfet mountain. That's where we have the most of activity and the lava this time went to the west direction blue lagoon it wants to eat blue lagoon it aims at blue lagoon for some strange reasons so the natural forces are not happy with this facility obviously how the volcano look at this morning here you see two of the craters uh, as seen from silinga fat the third crater which is to the south is not visible from this live cam because there are three craters erupting and the middle crater is here to the right which is emitting this long river of lava which is traveling um, by Storos Kokfet towards Blue Lagoon so and this is the most active crater and as you see lava is traveling direction Blue Lagoon to the west and now let's uh, scroll to the um, to the front to the night to the current situation which is not very much different this is how it looks right now in the night the same lava flows and the northernmost crater you see lava is going towards uh, to the, somewhat to the east to the other side so those are two craters that are visible from this live cam that are erupting right now most likely activity will concentrate in the middle of the crater as it always is, the other creatures typically go off probably within a couple of days and the middle crater is likely to last two weeks maximum but we don't know exactly, it can go also for one month as it was the case with one of the eruptions but unlikely because now we have much less lava than before so which suggests the closure of the eruption within two weeks. This animated image from Icelandic Med Office shows how lava had been destroyed in the park and next to Bulguna. At the same time, you see excavators covering the opening and raising the walls next to Blue Lagoon. Here you see the area where lava did run over the hot water pipes, which remain unharmed so far, but the power lines, electrical power lines, got damaged by the lava, and the city of Grindavik was left without electricity. Now they are trying to solve this problem. They are even pumping cold water upon the lava to fix the situation in this area. Sharing with you a few more images from the ongoing eruption. This is how situation looks right now. I wish you all the best, peace and blessings from Iceland.